Hello, everyone. All right. Welcome to this episode of Your Business in HD. Um, today, we're going to be diving into and talking about human design. What is it and why is it valuable to your marketing and your business? Um, so thank you for joining me. If you are hopping on live, hashtag live, if you guys are catching the replay, hashtag replay, welcome and thank you so much for being here. So this topic of human design, like what is it, is a question that I get asked quite a bit because most of us understand why our marketing is important, different marketing strategies, um, different business strategies. And so that's very tangible, but what is human design and then like what, what is the value of actually leveraging it and utilizing your human design in your business and in your marketing? So we're going to talk about that today. And I wanted just to share a little bit of my own personal journey with this, um, with human design itself. I know for me coming into the online space, and maybe you can relate to this, um, raise your hand to, if you know, if you have also been through this process of coming into the online space, starting your business, and you really don't know where to start or how to get started. So most of us seek out um, courses or other learning opportunities, other programs, memberships, coaching, co like uh, other coaches or mentors. So we seek the guidance of what we need to do to get our businesses off the ground, to market our businesses, to creating offers and launching and booking clients and all of the things that go into it. So we seek that advice, we seek the strategy, and we lean into that strategy. But the thing of it is, is yes, that is a big piece of it. And one thing that I found is like all of the strategies, there were pieces and parts that really, really worked for me. And there were other things that just didn't work or just didn't feel right or just weren't like they were just off for me. Um, and so I ended up struggling with like this kind of like getting a, a plan or a system or something in a box or a checklist. Um, one of the, one of my very earliest attempts um, in business, like when I first came into the online space, like that's what I was given. I was given a checklist and I was told, you know, if you want to have success in your business, if you want to grow your business, like here's the checklist, here are the things that you need to, um, that you need to check off. Um, if you want to grow your business, just go it, go ahead. And you got to do these things every single day and you'll have success. That was the advice I was given. This was, this was a while ago. This was a direct sales uh, attempt for me. And that's what, that's what they do. Like this, they just give you that your, um, revenue producing activities and you go do them and then you have success and, um, you will have a business and you have money and you have all the things. And I struggle with that because there were parts of the, the, the activities that I really enjoyed that really felt resonated with me, but there are other ways of doing things that just did not resonate with me. Um, so I struggled following it. And so what happened is when I hit that resistance, I just didn't do it. And so, and I, and this is a pattern I have noticed too. And like, and I don't know if you can relate where you've kind of tried to set out, like you've, you've worked with other coaches or other programs or other mentors, and you've been given systems, you've been given um, activities and things to do. You've been giving, given the strategy and it's the same thing. There's pieces that work for you, but there's pieces that aren't. And you hit that resistance, you hit that resistance. And so maybe you are more consistent with the things that work, but you're not consistent with some of the other things or or you just don't do them consistently because it's not something that hundred percent fully works for you. So that was one struggle um, I was working through. And the other one was just being able to find my voice, being able to figure out how do I show up? How do I, how do I, you know, create and speak and um, get my message out there and get my thoughts out there and write, create content. Cause that was another thing that was on the list of, it was just like, you have to post every single day. Um, and I've heard that from multiple mentors and I'm not at all disagreeing with that whatsoever. Um, I'm just saying that the, the blanket advice of post every single day and you'll be successful. Like that is something that, um, is very, it's very, very, um, like it's very, like puts you in a box kind of a thing. Um, and because there's, there's many different ways you can do that. There's many different ways you can show up. And that was something that for me is struggling to find my voice, figure out what to talk about and how to show up in a way that felt good to me. That was something else that I kept running into. So again, not fully consistent, not really kind of sounding almost like a cookie cutter version of what I was seeing everybody else doing. And none of it really felt authentic. So that's what I was struggling with over time. Yes. I was able to transition and refine and this, like it took a while for me to kind of start to work around some of that resistance on my own, but it was when I really started to dive into 
my unique human design and how I am designed to um, respond, like from an energetic standpoint, how I am designed to interact with the world around me, to lead other people, to share, to connect, to show up and share my own message and step, like understand who I am. The more I understood that, the faster and the, the more clearer I got on what action steps work for me, what didn't work for me. But then instead of just saying, well, that doesn't work for me, so I'm not going to do it. I was able to kind of look at that and say, okay, well, this I'm hitting resistance. Where is it coming from? How can I make steps and adjustments to um, create a way that works for me? And then I was able to now much faster, much clearer, and with much more confidence, create marketing activities and content and like offers and just connection with other, other women in business and showing up like I am right now in a way that works for me and feels good to me so much faster, the more I was able to kind of tap into that human design portion. So if you are just jumping on, we're going to dive into a few takeaways around that and how I was able to kind of transition from basically struggling and resistance and wanting to burn down my marketing to really loving, um, the things that I was doing so much so that I have been able to step into them and be that consistent, have that consistency that everybody tells you, you have to be consistent and show up. Right. Um, so if we haven't yet met and you're brand new, you're just jumping on here live. My name is Jen Dice. I am a human design and marketing strategist for entrepreneurs. Um, I ran a Pinterest marketing company for two years working with, um, women in business. And, uh, one of the biggest things was I saw a gap. That gap was too many women too many amazing human beings relying solely on the strategies that they were given and really not honing in and figuring out and focusing on what actually works for them. Um, and so that was something that I set out to take steps towards um, with the clients that I work with. And today I help women in business create a hell yes life for a hell yes life and business for themselves so that they can create more, they have more purpose, they have more freedom, and they're creating more impact with the work that they're doing using their human design. So welcome again, if you're brand new here, you're hopping on live, hashtag live. If you're catching the replay, hashtag replay. We are talking about human design um, in this, the topic of this live. What is it and why is it valuable to your marketing and your business? So with that whole spiel that I told you about, you know, and most of us, you can probably relate, catch, um, like just run into this. We hit this wall of resistance. Like this works, this works, this works. Oh, that doesn't. Um, so I'm just not going to do that. You know, I'm just, I'm just not going to do that. And I'm pretend I did it. And I'm just, I'm just not going to do it. Um, and so this, this is about how can we start to leverage some of your strength and strengths and your energetic pieces of your energetic blueprint to help you infuse some of those things into the marketing that you're doing into your business, into the client work that you're doing. Um, and so I have a couple of takeaways for you. If you guys are, um, like just some things that I want you to ask yourself, you can take away and you can implement this. Um, and so key point takeaway number one is I want you to ask yourself what is working and what's not working currently in your marketing. Okay. So um, this is, we'll dive into what human design is in just a minute, but just if you are brand new to it and you don't really understand it, I want you just to kind of think about this question in the back of your mind too. ask yourself what's working and what's not working, because this is where, instead of just saying, I'm hitting this resistance, I'm hitting, I'm, I'm just not going to do it. Um, this is going to help you create and refine marketing activities that work for you. So if you imagine like you are, it's, instead of grabbing the outfit off of the rack, at the store, the department store, you're getting something, you're creating something that's custom tailored to fit you, to fit your body, to fit how you were made. So that is the difference between using the marketing strategies that were given versus custom tailoring something that works for you. And that fits, for, fits you the way you're designed to then market your business. So it's like, not off the rack. We're doing custom design. We're doing custom tailored work here. Um, and so that's why in your marketing, when you ask yourself that question, like what's working and what's not, you can hone in a little bit more. Okay. Like these things feel really good. This doesn't really feel so good to me. So instead of just like shoving it off in the corner and just not doing it, or just worse yet, just burning down your marketing and not doing any of it, um, or just being very inconsistent with it. It's really figuring out like where that resistance is coming from, where like, like when you get a little bit deeper into what's not working, like that's 
where you can start to kind of custom tailor and refine those activities in a way that works for you. The second takeaway, the thing I want you to ask yourself is where you've naturally felt drawn to share or create. Um, where have you, like, so this is, this helps with you kind of stepping into and showing up in your business and your marketing. Um, where have you felt naturally drawn to? And this, this is important because it helps you hone in on your key energetic pillars. So the energy, so with human design, it's based on different energy centers and how you're designed to exchange energy with others around you, with the world around you, um, and where there is different energy, um, energy, uh, I'll say based on your own unique, like energetic blueprint, um, this is, it's, this is how you're designed to kind of share. You have access to certain energy pieces in your chart and this consistent access or being able to pull from, from this energetic place within you can absolutely be utilized to help frame and create your messaging, your content topics, your content pillars, how you're showing up. Um, and so when you kind of start to look at what you've felt drawn to share or to talk about, that can clue you in a little bit on um, like how you're designed, like the messaging behind what you're doing, the, the way in which you're designed to help guide others in the services and the products that you have to offer them in the way that you are made, meant to serve them. So this is like, you're, you almost start to, you're able to cue in and key in your, this energetic key code. So you have like this key code and you're able to unlock, um, like, like unlock like more like doors and entrances into your own creativity. And when you unlock that and you kind of let that flow out into the content you're creating, your messaging, um, the offers that you're creating, how you're talking and connecting and communicating with other people, like that's where you start to draw in some of the, those energetic strengths from your chart. The third question to ask yourself is how do you like to show up and share with others? So again, this is important because it helps you step into how you're designed to share your knowledge. So again, how many of us have been told, like, you just have to post every day. And, and it's like, it's just a little bit more of that blanket advice. Yes. I have heard that from multiple mentors and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but it's like just the advice of just posting every day. That's where, and, and especially if you're trying to emulate or, um, almost like post in a, in a similar way to how somebody else is teaching you to post or to post in a similar way as to somebody else, how somebody else is doing, they're creating their content. Um, and it doesn't feel authentic to you. It doesn't feel right to you. This is where you, when you answer this question of, um, how do you like to show up and share with others? It's going to lead you down the path of like, this is how you're designed to share your knowledge. Not all of us are designed to show up in video. Not all of us are designed to write. Not all of us are designed to have like podcasts and speak and talk all of the time. Um, and so this is where you really hone in on how are you designed to get that message out to the world? How do you like to really project and get that message out there to the people that need to hear it? And in what format, what is just, what does that look like? Um, and so this is almost like when it comes to like your content and showing up and teaching and serving, it's almost like finding that right pair of shoes that fit. So instead of having somebody hand you a pair of high heels and you like, if you're like me and you cannot walk in a pair of high heels five feet without falling and tripping and somebody is telling you or telling, like telling me like you, you have to wear these heels and you have to walk around in them all day. Um, and that is how you're going to show up for your people. That is how you're going to have be successful with showing up and well, I'm going to end up like tripping and falling and breaking something with blisters and like, that just doesn't feel right to me. So how then can you figure out a way that you can show up? That's finding that right pair of shoes. Like what pair of shoes is going to help you show up, stand up, feel grounded and feel strong and able to amplify that message that you have to bring to the world around you. So three takeaways I want you to kind of ask yourself or keep in the back of your mind. So these are ways that human design itself is valuable, but you can answer these questions without really fully diving into your chart first, just to get that little sense of creating some awareness and asking, answering these questions around your business or around your marketing over some of the things that you might be feeling stuck on. Um, but human design itself to dive into a little bit more about what it is, is Human design is a combination, it's a spiritual tool. So it co combines both spirituality, a spiritual tool and some science into it. It is made up of four different um, 
tools themselves kind of combined together. So it's based on astrology. It's based on the chakra system. Um, it's based on the Kabbalah and it's based on the I Ching. So all of these are like deeper, deeper levels that make up your human design chart. And if you have never seen your human design chart, or you don't know what I'm talking about with this is if you go to mybodygraph.com, enter your birth data, and you will be able to pull up your chart. You're going to get a, an image, a graphic of a, it looks like a person with a bunch of different colored shapes and channels and, and numbers. Um, and it's, it looks like you're going to you're just, that's your body graph. So that graph shows you from an energetic level, um, how you're designed to exchange energy and respond to the world around you. Each one of us is different. Um, there's five different human design types, but even with, when you break down those human design types, if you are a projector or a manifesting generator or a generator, like just because you're a projector, you are still highly, highly unique and designed highly differently and uniquely than somebody else that's a, a projector, depending on like there, there's almost like your energetic blueprint is yours. There's, there's such a small chance that somebody else on this planet has your exact same um, human design blueprint, um, that, that is, that is kind of your unique individuality with that. It's based on your birth data. So when you enter and get your birth data from like something like mybodygraph.com, this is, um, this is where it, you, it pulls in your data. So you, you'll have two, if you pull up your chart, you'll see a string of, um, boxes in black on the right and a string of boxes in red on the left. Um, this is that first set of data is based on your birth date, place, and time. So your actual birth data. And this is kind of where all of the like astrological planets and everything were are kind of aligned and imprinted on you at that moment of your birth. Anything that is in red on your chart is more of your unconscious design. And all of that information was imprinted on you about 88 days or three months prior to your birth. So it brings in these two pieces, two key pieces of information and on where things were astrologically. And that all lines up with where, and so that ties into like the Kabbalah itself and the I Ching and some of the gates and the channels and what was being activated in your chart at those exact specific moments. Um, and so this makes up where you have your conscious, um, um, conscious design in your human design chart, which is that first set of birth data of when you were actually born. And then anything that is unconscious is what was imprinted on you about three months prior to your birth. And both of those pieces of information combined with all of the gates and all of the channels. And um, that kind of dictates like what centers are defined or not defined in your chart, what gates are activated um, in your chart. And so that's where from an energetic blueprint standpoint, you can draw on the different energy centers that you have, the different gates or the different gifts that you have that are active in your chart um, and the different channels and the way that you're designed to communicate or the way that you're designed to kind of flow energy through your chart at any given moment um, through any given situation. So when you start to understand this and uncover more of this, yes, it's great to know and learn like what makes you unique, how you're designed uniquely using your human design, but then taking it that step further. And those takeaway questions that we just went over, asking yourself some of those questions and starting to just create a little bit of awareness. Like there's more nuances that definitely go into it and definitely know, like understanding your specific human design chart at a deeper level. Um, but this is just something that can get you started. If you are hundred percent, like new to understanding, like what human design is, what it's made of, like, how can you get, how can you get your chart today? And then how, if you answer these couple of questions, how can you pull these takeaways and start to apply that to your business and your marketing? And these were some key takeaways because most of the clients, many of the clients I talk to, they just feel stuck with something. And so if this is something that is coming up for you, go through those takeaways and answer those questions. And again, I hope this was helpful for you. Um, if you're tuning into this um, live hashtag live, if you're catching the replay hashtag replay, but if this brought up more questions than answers for you, I'm going to drop a link in the comments where you can kind of grab this um, free information to kind of walk you through taking those first initial steps and getting familiar with your human design. It's hundred percent free, but it's kind of that next step that will help you um, just learn a 
apply these action steps a little bit more clearer um, in your business and in your marketing. So I'll drop that, grab that now while it is free in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for joining me live today or on the replay. And I look forward to seeing you guys again next week for another episode of Your Business and HD. All right. Bye guys. Have a good day.